Hi guys, do you know what else you can do in Ukraine? You can buy a car. Brian, he's buying a car actually in Lviv. Uh, Brian, what car are you buying? So this is a car, uh, an old um, uh, cheap car that you, you cannot buy it in uh, California. And it's a car that I think is really cool. Um, I, I like uh, cars, I like old cars. It's a um, Lada pickup truck. So it's a 20, 21175 model. Cool. And uh, yeah, so it's it's cheap, one thousand four hundred dollars, and uh, we'll see if it's any good when we get there. Hi guys, so we're on the way to buy a car for Brian. Uh, can you just uh, tell me again what is the car? It's a Lada pickup, so it's a two thousand seven. A lot of pickup was um, based on a, the Italian uh, Fiat from the 1960s, and then the Soviets um, company of Lada or Gaz. I've heard of the company called by different names. They started making it as a copy um, under license, and then they just kept making it for like 40 years. Nice, nice. And so, what will you use this car for? Um, I'll probably use it for. Um, going to like Epicenter, which is like Home Depot here, and getting um, uh, wood and stuff like that, or buying car parts, because I um, I want to build um, a custom car, maybe even that truck, I probably will do some custom work too. Nice. Um, we're in an Uber right now, um, we, uh, we waited, uh, waited for the taxi um, in uh, Uber minutes, which they're kind of like dog years. It's like seven um, Uber minutes equals one minute. But uh, here we are rolling along and we're supposed to meet with the owner pretty soon. Nice. And how did you find this car? I found it on Autoria. Yeah, Autoria.com. Nice. And then you messaged him and then I also called today and I think maybe We'll snatch yeah. the car today. Yeah. yeah, I was having a conversation with the guy yesterday. I was using Google Translate because I assume he only speaks Ukrainian. And I was trying to arrange to come see the car. And then he texted me and said, please find someone who speaks Ukrainian. And then I found Arina. And she started communicating with him this morning. She called him a couple times. And she was able to arrange uh, to go see it. So she is... She has definitely been um, the linchpin, or the uh, most important part of this uh, venture. I'm happy. I'm happy to help you, and I will also go check out, check the car if it's appropriate. You know, using my skill, I will check if it's the right color. Yeah, uh, right. If it's cute. Yes. Yes. Exactly. What else I can check? I will take the engine. Yes, you cute. can. You can run a compression test for us, maybe, or something. <laughs> How about that? Okay, yes. Did you bring your compression tester? <laughs> uh, yes, it's in my toolkit. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, good. With my advice, you will never go wrong. <laughs> I'm sure, yes. Okay, so, yeah, thanks. Right. <laughs> Come to the event, yes. Can buy a car? Yes. Okay. So we drove to a village outside of the city and we are viewing the car and if everything is okay, we'll transfer the title of the car. Well, so far the color is nice.
So is this a time for an update? We went to see the car and it was a really cool kind of car. Um, it, was, it was pretty good, but it had some uh, rust and more than I wanted to deal with. So, so we decided not to buy it. So keep on looking, so stay tuned. Yep, we're gonna keep looking. We will not give up. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, so Brian has found his car, uh, it's in Lutsk, but before going there we are going to go to the uh, motor vehicle division and check if his documents are enough to purchase the car and have the title on his name. Uh, so we are going on bikes and we are going to bring his document uh, and uh, uh, get the answer, total confirmation. You're supposed to register online, but they said that they will just see us uh, as walk-ins and tell us if his documents are enough. Uh, what is the problem is that um, he does, does not have his uh, residency card. He only has uh, um, the note from the lawyer. Uh, like sh she uh, contacted the main division, vehicle division in uh, the city and they gave her a legal document uh, that he can buy a car but uh, some some local officers say it's not enough and in Lutsk it was not enough that's why uh, we are just uh, going there ourselves with all the documents to show it to the office uh, so basically he will need his passport he will need this document from the main uh, Lviv uh, motor vehicle office saying that he can get the car registered on him based on just his street address uh, and what else he needs his ID number uh, and so then he maybe possibly can buy this car it was kind of difficult nobody knows the answer it's not uh, common for us uh, to register a car on a foreigner uh, if he does not have his uh, residency Brian plans to buy two cars, one newer and another older just for his construction work. Um, okay, so I'm waiting for him to come on his bike and we will go there. Yeah, it took a while to communicate with the owner of the car uh, about everything. But yeah, hopefully he will have it, this car. because. Otherwise, he will just, I don't know, have to ride his bike, but it's cold, so cars better. And maybe he can give me rides also. Mm -hmm. 